Hey guys, Professor Fat Shady from the University of Trials bringing you the November edition of my little competition. Uh, I have a special guest here today, Jack Patillo from Achievement Hunter. Hello, how are you doing, Jack? I'm great. How are you doing, Internet? <laughs> I'm now, doing really poorly right now. Yeah, he, he's actually not as good as I thought he was. I mean, you, oh, you talk a big that, game, right? That hurts. <laughs> that hurts. Um, so what we've got here, uh, this is a competition for Australia and New Zealand. Well, I, I married Australian, so oh, I'm, I'm okay. like... Oh, okay, so you're going to use yeah, like that, in. you're going to use that passport to get entry here. Yeah, absolutely. All right, cool, cool. All right. All right, so effectively what we do, uh, I pick one uh, one track a month. I actually pick uh, a track generated by the community. Oh, cool. Um, the track this month is Terminus 5, which you're playing here. Uh, it's an easy difficulty track, but it's obviously, as you can see, quite hard to get a good time. Yeah. You just yeah. fell off the bike then, right? I just keep falling <laughs> off. I'm, try I'm trying to like sort of perfect my line. I'm still working on it. That's cool. That's cool. Um, yeah, so effectively what we do at the end of the week, though, is what I didn't want to do is have uh, maybe the same five people winning every month. I know what that. I've ended up doing is uh, at the end of the comp, everyone puts in their best time. <clears throat> I'll pick out five names out of a hat or ten names out of a hat. And the winner of that group takes away the prize and nice. I just found that to be a bit more interesting uh, so it's a bit more random and it mixes it up and lets more people participate and have some fun. Yeah, raffle is the way to do it. Exactly, exactly. So uh, how are you going with this track now? This is, this is a great track man, it's nice, it's like one of those tracks that I know, you know, after, over time you can get a really nice smooth line and some real good speed but I'm having some issues right now. I was going to say, I noticed you said over time, yeah, that's, your, yeah. that's your out now isn't it, so if you don't do a good time. I have about 300 tries, I should have a really good one for you. Alright, very cool. So, uh, what's your best so far, you're sitting about uh, 30, I, 31 I, seconds? I had, a, I had a 31, 175, so I think that might be my best right now. So now let's see if we can help Jack go even faster. Uh, first little tip is to make sure you use the Roach. Uh, I've seen people do pretty competitive times on the Pit Viper, but I tend to find overall the uh, top line speed just wins out in the end. The next thing is, make sure you keep your rear wheel in contact with the floor as much as you possibly can. And any time you spend up in the air is time your rear wheel's not down and not propelling you forward. The next is this little section here. You see there's this uh, curved jump and then a really sharp edge. What you want to do, roll back a little bit, is you actually want to jump from this section, you want to clear this dip, and you want to land cleanly on that flat section and propel yourself forward. And I'll show you what I mean here. The reason why that's important is that is absolutely the fastest way to continue to keep your momentum. So that, and even then I hit that a bit off. I'll try one more time and show you what I mean. So I tend to just go flat out through here, and a little bunny hop there. And but just by doing that, you find, um, yeah, you just find that it just keeps the run going very smoothly. Um, the rest of the track is mostly just going flat out, uh, a couple of bunny hops. Uh, this section, there's a, couple, there's a couple of different ways to do that section, but this is the next one. Again, if you have a look at this, exact same situation. You've got this curved ramp here and then a straight edge. This curve section, by sort of bouncing you up, um, is trying to get, I guess, get you into the trap of having your rear wheel off the ground and not propelling yourself forward. So you just want to try and hit those couple of things quite cleanly. And apart from that, it's just about having a smooth run. Um, so let's just have another, let's have a run through here and then I'll show you some replays. All right, so that was rubbish. I'll do a couple of runs here. I've pretty consistently been getting sort of mid to high 29s on this track. I will say in Jack's defense, he had about five minutes to set his time, so uh, don't hold that against him. Or do. Actually, it might be fun to get him involved. So yeah, maybe we should all just trash talk him and tell him he's horrible. He was an awesome, I've got to say, he was he was an exceptionally nice guy and very, uh, very willing and uh, excellent supporter of the University of Trials. So I can only have uh, nothing but good things to say to him, but if you guys want to tell him his time is too slow and he needs to do better, I'll never stop you. Well, there you go, guys. That's the details for this competition. Uh, I'm going to wrap up with Jack now. Uh, your best time is still 31. Uh, I think 31 is going to be my best, yeah. All right, that's going to be it for now. Good luck to everybody, and I'll see you guys in a week to, a week to see who won. Bye, Internet.